And look at this. I love this blue color. It's like, I guess it's like periwinkle blue. It's not like stupid blue number one blue, but spirulina is usually green. This is just awesome. I love this blue color. Welcome to Price Plow. What's happening, Price Plow Nation, Nutribio Nation, and all the nations in between? This is Mike Roberto, founder of Price Plow, and it's early October of 2018, which means we are done with our Olympia coverage for the year, I'm pretty sure, unless we find a few more files. Had a couple audio slip ups. Anyway, <laughs> so that means it's time to actually do some of the supplement reviews of the products that were launched at the Olympia. And obviously, let's just get this right out of the way. Obviously, this is a Nutribio sponsored website for the month of September and October and occasionally other months as well. So I gotta throw that out there. And uh, these products were given to me, sent to me for free. So lawyer satisfied, we are gonna be unbiased here. What's easy about Nutribio is that these are completely open fully disclosed formulas down to the amount of sucralose and ACE K and all that stuff down to the flavor system. And if you look at the bottom, and I'll show you these lot numbers, you could actually go and check out the uh, Check My Subs website because they post third-party lab tests of all their products too. And so you can look to make sure that uh, what's, in the tub is, uh, what's in the tub is what's on the label and it is what they say it is and all that. Are we gonna throw in that Dennis Green meme? Yeah, I think we should. I'm, kind of on a, I'm on a kick with that meme. The bears are who we thought they were, but they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. Anyway, so EAA Energy is the, we call it Energy Aminos at Price Plow. This is the Energy Amino product from Nutribio. Now, a few years back, Optimum Nutrition created this category where they took, uh, they made amino energy, and they basically had a product with 100 milligrams of caffeine and threw in some, some mixed amino acids, and they launched this whole category, and every brand has got kind of their take on it. The issue is that a lot of those products were using some of the more tasty, cheap, kind of non-essential amino acids that uh, you don't really need that much, like glutamine, and by the time you like put them in a prop blend, and by the time you got down to the important stuff like BCAs and maybe some essential amino acids, you're basically at pixie dust levels. And so it's basically like a glorified energy drink for people like glutamine. And then over the course of time, a few of them came out with five grams of branch chain amino acids. But if we're trying to get into a full spectrum amino acid, which uh, will induce muscle protein synthesis more than just a branch chain amino acid itself, then it's time to go and take it even further. And that's what Nutribio is doing here with EA Energy. Now this product is launched in three flavors. And one of the big stories is that this is the introduction of a new flavor system from Nutribio, Cherry Limeade. And that's what was sent to me in the mail. We have a video where I uh, went through the dad gauntlet and tested it and I dry scooped it and everything. Don't dry scoop amino acids, it's really not that good. Pre-workouts, maybe. Amino acids, eh. So anyway, EAA Energy is Nutribio's spin on the essential amino acid mix with the energy component, and we'll talk about that. But this one's launching exclusively at bodybuilding.com. So if you check pricelot.com, you will most likely be redirected to bodybuilding.com. I might as well make lawyers even more happy and tell you we're also affiliated with bodybuilding.com, as we are with most of the stores. So you go there, we get a commission from them, is actually how it works. Anyway, <laughs> and so we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna be talking about three different products from Nutribio in the September and October launches. There's actually four, and I might need to get that other one. We have EAA Energy, once again, bodybuilding.com exclusive. Then I have EAA Pure. Now this one, you're not gonna be able to find online and you shouldn't find it on Price Plow. This is actually for the retailers. And so that'll be my next video. And I'm actually gonna kinda compare some of the same flavors to see how the caffeine makes the, uh, makes the flavor taste a little bit. But hey, you know, if you don't want the energy component here but you think it's a kick-ass formula, which it is, then go and support your local business. Go find a local retailer who has EAA Pure from Nutribio and you can get the same formula but uh, minus the caffeine. And finally, behind me, I also have one other thing, BCA 5000 in the blue raspberry flavor. nutribio has got the coolest blue raspberry coloring and flavoring that I'm a huge fan of it, obviously. So we're already gonna get into the review here. So let's talk about the formula first, and then I have three glasses of water ready to go. We'll shoot in some B-roll, make it look good, you know, snazzy, compare the labels, and then we also need to talk about when we would use this product versus another Nutribio product that has a lot of essential amino acids out there. So, what I like about this product, obviously fully open label, full disclosure, 8.2 grams of essential amino acids. Now that includes the branch chain amino acids and the BCAs provide you have six grams 
of BCAs and a two to one to one ratio. So you're already talking about greater than an average amount from even like regular BCA products. Now, the, uh, now that's gonna balance out with 150 milligrams of caffeine and so that's a little bit on the higher end as well. So this is like, and, and I have a, this is a pretty heavy tub actually. It's a 30 servings here. So if you really want like your amino and your energy amino products at 100 milligrams of caffeine, you can do an underwhelming scoop and you're most likely still gonna get a pretty good amount of aminos because you have 10 grams of total aminos, 8.2 of them essential. And then that means that we have 2.2 grams of the non-BCA essential amino acids. And that's a lot. Like, we were at, you know, when this was all starting, because the essential, those other essential amino acids, we're going to get into this, they don't taste all that great. And so, you know, a lot of the EIA supplements, they started off by pixie dusting some of that stuff. And over the course of time, the formulas and the flavoring have gotten a lot better. Now, there's two ways. I'm going to be, I'm going to tell you right, right off the bat, there's two ways to kind of attack the EAA flavoring, it seems. First off, it's, it's, you can go with the, work with the tartness and everything. And so that is the way that Nutribio is going, where they're working with it. The flavors we have are cherry limeade, kind of a tart flavor, raspberry lemonade, kind of a tart flavor, and blue raspberry, kind of a tart flavor. Now, the other way you can attack it is by completely just nuking it with sweetness and going after the full sucralose, full HK, like, I don't even want to know how much sucralose is in some of those products kind of situation. Nutribio doesn't do that. They usually keep it pretty low on the sucralose if they can, and they're, they're willing to tell you right here that it does have 150 milligrams of sucralose, which considering all the EAAs in here, it's actually not that much, but there is also 30 milligrams of ACE-K, and some people don't like that, but that's what you gotta do when you have these uh, EAAs here. Now, what's also cool is they have, they have, we have the coloring available, all that stuff, fully open label once again. So, we got six grams of the BCAs. The, the, the two main EAAs that are, bringing in the, uh, that are coming in next are lysine and threonine. Now, what I like about these are that, that first off, lysine is a ketogenic amino acid. So, some of you who may be keto dieters may be kind of concerned that some of the aminos in here are glucogenic. And that is a concern sometimes, but you know what? You have to eat protein at some point in the day. I mean, protein will eventually spill over into gluconeogenesis, but at the same time, if you don't eat enough, you're gonna turn into too skinny like me. But keto diets, it's okay to get a little bit of glucogenic amino acids. But the number one amino in here behind the BCAs, um, the, the, yeah, the top aminos in here really, the leucine, which is at three grams, that's ketogenic. And then the, the uh, two BCAs, those kind of are a little bit of both. And then lysine is the other fully ketogenic amino acid. And so that has some anti-inflammatory properties, but more importantly, it, it is involved in muscle protein synthesis. Now the reason that's, and it is at, it's at a very large dose, 850 milligrams, almost a gram of it. Now what's important here is that with this and both anthreonine, which is also at 850 milligrams, if you are lacking in those amino acids and your body is trying to build muscle, you basically have a bottleneck. And that's where the BCAs can kind of fail some people. And it's not like it's gonna make like leagues and leagues of difference. But when we're starting to split hairs here, the BCAs do worse in the studies than the full spectrum EAAs and the whey proteins because I, I think that your body is like, yo, I need some of this and it doesn't have some of this. And these are essential amino acids, meaning that your body needs them essentially because it cannot produce them itself. And so they're not conditionally essential. They're not conditional amino acids. They're not non-essential. They are essential amino acids. You need to get them in through diet or supplementation. So it's always good to get your nine essentials supplementally if we can make it taste good. And we're at the point where we are doing that. Next, we have uh, phenylalanine at 300 milligrams. Now that's a fun favorite because that gets converted to L-tyrosine, which is one of our favorite nootropic mind and mood boosters. Do I have some? Yeah, I got some right here. I got to test that with a ketones and stuff later on. So you'll be, you'll be seeing this tub coming out pretty soon. But so anyway, phenylalanine converts to tyrosine, good little boost of dopamine by way of the epinephrine system and everything. Now, I don't think it's going to like be a huge hit of epinephrine or anything like that. Uh, it's just going to give you a little bit of extra mood enhancement there, but it's good to have because once again, it's an essential amino acid. After that, is L-histidine. Now, L-histidine, this is just 100 milligrams, so I'm not sure how much impact it's really gonna have, but this is uh, friends with beta-alanine because beta-alanine, uh, it converts to carnosine, which builds up a pool in your muscles, and then that helps buffer the lactic, uh, the acids, like lactic acid and everything, for endurance activities. Well, histidine is also required to create carnosine. And once again, it's essential, so you need to get it so it's good for a little bit of the endurance effects. 
After that, we have tryptophan. Now, it's, it's 75 milligrams. I hate talking about tryptophan because, you know, people are like, oh, that's the stuff in Turkey on, on Thanksgiving. It makes me sleepy. First off, it's only 75 milligrams. And second off, Turkey isn't even the highest tryptophan food. And it, 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 so yes, tryptophan does help you create serotonin, gives you a bit of a mood boost. It can actually like help with pain tolerance, but I'm not sure at what dose, 75 milligrams isn't that much. But with some people, like some brands remove tryptophan to, and it's an incomplete amino acid at that point because they don't have all the essentials. They remove tryptophan because people freak out or they see it like, oh, I'm gonna fall asleep during my workout. No, first off, there's 150 milligrams of caffeine here. You're not gonna fall asleep. Second off, it's not that big of a deal in terms of like making you fall asleep in the first place. You're falling asleep on Thanksgiving because you ate too much food and your blood sugar is going up and down and you're crashing, you're spiking, you're crashing anyway. And football's boring anymore because there's like a thousand instant replays. They're playing 800 Viagra commercials Football sucks anymore. So anyway, that's why you're falling asleep on Thanksgiving. It's not because of the tryptophan, and it's definitely not the tryptophan in this supplement. There's only 75 milligrams. Whoa. Okay, so uh, after that, methionine. Now, methionine is the one of the two amino acids, um, one of the two like proteinogenic amino acids that has sulfur. And so we talk about this a lot because a lot of people in the, in the typical Western diet are sulfur depleted. The problem is that it's got sulfur, which means it smells bad, and that's why it's the lowest dose, one at 25 milligrams. Uh, a lot of people go through fasting. I was listening to uh, Dr. Ap Dr. Peter Atia's uh, the Atia Drive podcast, and he had a gentleman on who was talking about. Uh, they got off topic. They were talking about methionine, and people who are fasting a lot, kind of like myself, end up getting like sulfur depleted, and methionine can help with that is what I'm starting to understand. So there's like all these reasons to, to like it, but at the same time, it's just 25 milligrams. This is where like brands really need to bend things and everything because it's not the good tasting amino acid. So that is our full, like that's 8.2 grams worth of stuff right there. And once again, you can kind of, uh, you can almost like underwhelming scoop it because that's a pretty good dose of stuff right off the bat. Now next is taurine, 1.2 grams. Taurine is an osmolite that helps your body transfer water and we get cell hydration from it if you drink enough water with it. And What's cool about it is that there was a meta-analysis showing that even like 500 milligrams of this stuff helps with endurance and like on the first shot. And so I'm a huge fan of taurine, even at even smaller doses than this, but yeah, somewhere between like 500 milligrams and maybe up to two grams of it. I'd say 500 milligrams of 1.5 grams of the taurine is definitely worth taking. But let's also be honest here, I think it's also a tasty amino acid, which doesn't hurt the situation as well because we're working on ways to get you know, to get these EAAs tasting a little bit better without putting in like five grams of sucralose inside. After that, we have alanine. Now, L alanine is, this is where I think NutriBio is doing a little bit of cheating in that I think alanine is really here. It's not an essential amino acid. I think it's here for the flavor. It tastes good. Like I did a ketogenic test. Alanine is a glucogenic amino acid and it basically tastes like sugar. It kind of like melted in the mouth, tastes like sugar. So 600 milligrams of that, I'm not sure if there's a ton of benefits. There might be a little bit of a, a little bit of like fatigue fighting benefit there. Maybe something, I don't know. So anyway, I think it's there for the flavor and with, uh, with as many EAAs as we have here, we're gonna take that. Now, after that comes 500 milligrams of Coco Pure Coconut Water Powder. This is the first time we've ever seen Coco Pure and I really don't know much about it. So I'm guessing it's a more pure form of coconut water. <laughs> but you know, we need to get Ben or, or Mark or one of the gentlemen over from NutriBio to talk about what is Coco Pure, where they get it from. I, I, don't, I honestly don't know the full story, but I think there might be a story here because it's a new ingredient and we always like talking about that stuff. In general, you're gonna get some mineral content from coconut water extract. Question is like, is some of that coconut water extract just like sugar, you know? So maybe that's what they're kind of steering towards something more pure than just, you know, glorified sugar water. After that comes our caffeine blend. We have Infinergy, which is dicaffeine malate. Infinergy is like the brand trade name or whatever of dicaffeine malate. So you have caffeine bonded to malic acid. And this takes a little bit, uh, this takes a little bit longer to break down for you. And what that does is it kind of smooths out the energy curve from caffeine. Now, typically we like to pair it with other forms of caffeine, which is exactly what we have here. Another uh, 75 milligram yield of caffeine coming from pure calf, organic caffeine. And this is a na naturally derived caffeine from green coffee beans. So this isn't just like, there's no caffeine anhydrous in here. This is a blend of some slower acting Infinergy and then some pure calf from the green coffee beans. So it's 95% pure, so they actually have 79 milligrams of the pure calf, but that yields 75 milligrams of caffeine, and now we're at 150 milligrams of caffeine. Now, 
Ben, in our interview in the past, he said that some people say PureCast hits them a little harder. I personally disagree. I think it's a little bit of a smoother strike. And now we have a little bit of other ingredients that are coming from the green coffee beans, but honestly, it's not much. It's gonna be like four milligrams of stuff. It seems like the research I've seen, it looks like it's the chlorogenic acid. And that's a really beneficial ingredient itself that like lowers blood pressure, but way, you need like way higher uh, doses than that. So it's really, we're here for a natural form of caffeine. A lot of Nutribios users do like the more natural stuff. We do like to see the natural colors, which we'll get into. We also like to see the open labels. So I think pure calf and Nutribio make a good mix. And, and I think this is like a good feeling type of caffeine that I personally think is a little bit slower rolling. And that, that goes well with the, the, with the uh, dicaffeine malate from Infinergy as well. Finally, this is a good play. Astrogen, not at 25 milligrams like a lot of people do, at 50 milligrams here. Astrogen is a combination of astragalus and Panax Noto Ginseng. And the studies show that this helps amplify the bioavailability, the absorption, and the impact of essential, of different amino acids. And that's exactly what you have here. So we see estrogen added to a lot of supplements, sometimes for almost like hopefully it works kind of situation. But when it comes to an actual uh, free form amino acid product, that's where we are most confident that estrogen is going to work. So had a little bit of a rant there, had a little bit more uh, to say there than I thought. Anyway, so then for the flavoring system, they are going, you can could, you could see they're going with the more, the more tart system because we have, at least in the uh, cherry limeade flavor here, I'm going to see if these are different. We have one point, yeah, in cherry limeade we have 1.8 grams of citric acid, which is a pretty good dose there. And uh, the malic acid, 800 milligrams. Whereas like for raspberry lemonade, I have 1.5 grams of citric acid. Malic acid is down to 700 milligrams. Interesting. They both have sucralose, 150 milligrams, salt, 120 milligrams. Ace K, 30 milligrams, and this one's got beet color for the red. This one's got a little bit of beet color and a little bit of beta carotene for that cherry limeade flavor. And then, oh, the blue raspberry. Ooh, less citric acid, 1.2 grams. Less malic acid, 500 milligrams. But they're using spirulina for that blue color. Wait until you see this color. I love, I love Nutribio's blue raspberry. So which flavor is the best? <laughs> I think I just blew it right there. I'm going to shake them up. I have three shakers, cold water, blue raspberry first. Now look at this. I got my Nutrab shaker cup. And these companies, they're semi clear shaker cups. You can see the color. So this is my, this is my old one. It's starting to wash off. I don't know if you can see it, it just says new trab. The IO is gone. I've been using this one a lot. Um, all right, so, you know, we're, let's do it right. We're gonna, I'm gonna use the food scale. I'm not gonna show it, but I need 13.28 grams of product from this guy. Can you guess which two flavors I'm doing here? So this is raspberry lemonade, and obviously this is the blue raspberry. Look at this, I love this blue color. It's like. I guess it's like periwinkle blue. It's not like stupid blue number one blue, but spirulina is usually green. This is just awesome. I love this blue color. All right, so I'm gonna start with raspberry lemonade. So I have take, I have drank all of these at this point. I wanted to come in with a more thorough review. Clearly you got that beet extract kind of color. Raspberry lemonade is the oldest of the Nutribio flavor systems. They've had this flavor for a while. I'm gonna be honest with this raspberry lemonade flavor. I don't really taste anything. <laughs> I, I, I taste a little bit of sweetness. It's not overwhelmingly strong. And that's the thing with Nutribile, you're never gonna get blown off your feet with like crazy absurd amounts of flavor. I like this and I can just drink this and drink this and drink this and kind of forget. There is a just a very subtle raspberry-ish to it. I don't have a, they, they like defeated the tartness and they kind of cancel it out, but they, it's almost like they didn't add in a ton of extra stuff. And honestly, I like that sometimes. Like, I don't want to always be drinking absurd amounts of craziness. It's there, but it's really not there. This is the most mild flavor system I've ever seen, but I've, I've drank, I've drank like offensive EAA products and they just like, they, they cancel it out. It's really interesting. What's cool about this is that if you're like one of those people that likes to stack supplements together, this would be the one I would opt for for sure. Or if you're not sure about these other two flavor systems and you want something mild mannered, I would go raspberry lemonade. Honestly, I, and it's like got a good like nasal kind of, I got olfactory kind of sense with it, but it's not, it's not strong. It's like almost, it's almost not there. It's kind of interesting. Now, a lot of people don't realize though, that blue raspberry is actually very Nutrab. Blue raspberry is actually very new to the, the Nutribio family. They haven't had the, the blue raspberry out for that long. I'm not going to talk about how much I like this blue. It's 
just, just silly. I love that flavor. Now this is where, if you have the sweet tooth, this is a little bit more on the sweeter end than the others. And what's interesting is it also has the less amount of added uh, citric acid, malic acid, and all that stuff too. So if you're going for as simple as, as possible in terms of the other stuff, but you have the sweet tooth, then this is the flavor that is most sweet versus the, uh, the tartness that we're gonna get from the cherry limeade. This is the one I've been coming back to because I'm a fan of their, I am a fan of their blue raspberry flavor system. It's not too much and it's definitely not too little. Once again, aftertaste is good, smell is good. Now the new, the, 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 the talk of the town at NutriBio, the new cherry limeade flavor, and here's the honest truth. I'm not a cherry limeade person. I'm, and, and I'm not a lime, because I'm not a lime person. I really don't like uh, that many limey types of drinks. The only time I use limes is like when I add it to my avocado and guacamole, that's where it's awesome. And so Ben was explaining, you know, you could have really sweet cherry, heavy cherry limeades, and you could have the cherry limeades that are heavier on the lime. They split it right down the middle here. You get the cherry up front, and then it finishes off with the lime. I personally, and my, my own, and so if you like that, then this is exactly what it is. And um, one of our regular commenters, Francisco, what's up, Francisco? If you're still here watching, he said, uh, he's, and he said he tried it at the O, and he was like, yeah, it was dead on in the middle, and that's what he liked, and that's, uh, that sounds cool. Honestly, for me, this isn't my flavor. I'm not a lime person. I'm all the way blue raspberry, or even the raspberry lemonade, if I just want to go something like really simple. The, the, the limeade is just like kicks me in the throat a little bit hard, and all citrus is really do that for me a lot. The colors are pretty transparent here. I do have a, a you know, this is my most smallest shaker. I was getting a little bit of, there we go. So almost, yeah, you have a little bit of a, you get a little bit of red beet coloring, but they added some beta carotene, which is like that orange color. And so long story short, I'm a huge fan of this product. I like the blue raspberry by far the best. And that's for me. If you're going to get any of them, I'd head over to bodylemon.com and get blue raspberry. If you're not sure, then I would get raspberry lemonade. And if you, and, and if you like cherry limeade and you want to split right down the middle, you like that cherry, you like the limeade, go with that. This is overall a great formula. We're going to do some B-roll. We'll show you the lot numbers. So you can go to checkmyselfs.com and uh, check them out. Now the next thing you got to do is compare these flavors to the AA Pure, which are at your local retailer. And then we're going to do a little battle of the blue razzes because I, from what I'm starting to feel, I've tried this blue razz BCA 5000, which should taste better technically. I'm actually liking the EAA Energy one better. So check out pricelaw.com slash NutriBio. You can sign up for alerts because we have all sorts of NutriBio news and deals and videos and all sorts of content coming out, and crazy interviews by Mark Glazer. And, uh, and that should be it. My name is Mike Roberto. I'm the founder of Price Plow. We're doing a couple supplement reviews. I went long on this one, but that's just how it is sometimes. Subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. See ya. Welcome to Price Plow. I mean, the fact is, I really hate instant replay. It ruins any momentum-based sport, especially college football completely just ruins it. You know, people are like, oh, you gotta get it right. You gotta get the play right. No, you don't need to get the call right. You need to entertain me. And when I'm sitting there watching Viagra commercials, I'm not entertained. You might wanna beep out the word there.